The Amazon is not empty land, of course, right? There is there are about a million indigenous people living in the Amazon, and they have been protecting the land for many, many generations. Uh, but what we have seen uh, is that uh, there is more pressure to expand the so-called agriculture frontier in Brazil in the Amazon. And usually what happens is that uh, we have local land grabbers that uh, uh, put fire in the land. They take the timber, they do these illegal activities, uh, and then, um, then you see either cattle ranching or uh, monocropping of soy. So this is the cycle of destruction. And now this year, of course, the situation is much more dramatic. Uh, we have seen 80 percent, over 80 percent of increasing of deforestation com com in comparison to last year. And the European Union? I mean, many people oh, said yes. it was pathetic uh, what they were offering, 20 million, but that they were. And then the politics of Bolsonaro saying, no, you couldn't even deal with your own uh, Notre Dame Cathedral on fire, um, and then insulting uh, the French president and his wife. Yes, Bolsonaro is really happy with the destruction of the Amazon. So he's going to come up with any type of excuse, uh, just not to take responsibility for what's happening. And uh, so I think that uh, the international community needs to call for a boycott of the main commodities produced by agribusiness, beef, soy, sugarcane and timber. I think this is the only message that uh, Bolsonaro is going to uh, to uh, that, ha that will have uh, any type of impact, because he doesn't believe in climate change. So I think that, uh, uh, and also the giving aid to the Bolsonaro administration, I don't think that is going to help very much. I think uh, we need to support indigenous communities, small farmers that are protecting the land that and who produce over 70 percent of the food for internal markets. Several thousand indigenous women gathered in the capital, Brasilia, this month to protest the policies of Bolsonaro. Hundreds occupied a health ministry building as they demanded the government respect indigenous rights in the Amazon. This is Joana Wapajena, the first indigenous woman elected to the Brazilian Congress. Protest is an important act to defend the rights of indigenous peoples. We are under a series of systematic violent attacks. There's the lack of demarcation of indigenous lands, the issue of health, education. This is all in danger. We are fighting against privatizing for a fairer and quality education. So if you can talk about what she said and the significance of the indigenous women gathering and protesting. Yes, that was very important. They, they had a very large protest just a few days ago, and uh, the indigenous communities in Brazil are very well organized, and uh, they are calling the international community uh, to pay attention, to keep monitoring the situation. And uh, we also have seen, for example, recently a UN, UN report uh, saying that uh, industrial agriculture is a main cause of climate change, and uh, one of the ways uh, to prevent that is to protect indigenous communities that uh, have been uh, protecting the land for many generations. So, you know, uh, climate change and protecting indigenous communities are key factors to, to deal with the crisis that we have now.